the video response to some questions on the live trap. I just went ahead and released a squirrel from it to elsewhere. And uh, the questions were about the hole sizing, post, and teeter. Go ahead and get my measure tape out. Let's see. For starters, the teetering part. Um, I made it about 21 inches, but it definitely didn't need to be more than uh, 16 inches for me. I put a couple holes in it. The 14 and a quarter hole was the one I ended up using. Um, but I just felt it out as to where it should be uh, while teetering it on the post. So my post is about 10 and a half inches tall. I put a notch in it, but it didn't really serve too much of a purpose. Uh, I felt the notch on the teeter was more important to help identify its spot. The hole, let's see, the hole's about 13 and a half inches or 13 and a quarter on center, back from the edge of the gate opening. Uh, these were all subject to change and inspiration. I just felt out where I thought it should be. Let's see. Uh, my, my door is nice and snug, which is good. Let's see. Try to do this with one hand. And there we have it. That's how it sits. Try to make sure that the door will go straight down when measuring it out. And this post, I didn't say, but is right in the center of this hole and that spot there. So that way the teeter is even. Now we go ahead and trip it for this video for the heck of it. Let's see. There you have it again. Works like a champ. Uh, a couple other modifications I made to this. I replaced the nails with screws. I upgraded the mesh. Um, before it was just like chicken wire, now this is a heavier gauge. Um, the squirrels did chew through the chicken wire and busted a few holes in it. So this was definitely a good upgrade to make. Hope this was helpful. Thanks, bud.